a very good morning to all today's class we'll be doing the basic concepts of organic chemistry dealing with two identities called as the nucleophiles and electrophiles nucleophiles are nucleus loving a nucleus loving identity would have to be negative the reason being nucleuses are positive in charge since they are made up of protons and neutrons protons being positive in charge the nucleus is always a positively charged identity hence anything which is attracted towards the nucleus has to be negatively charged identity a nucleus loving identity could be of two categories one anything which is negatively charged that is any anion hence cl minus br minus oh minus all fall into this category while there are certain identities which are neutral still are nucleophiles the reason being the presence of lone pairs on them lone pair is a non bonded electron pair on an atom for example if i talk about ammonia a molecule of ammonia is considered as a nucleophile due to the presence of a lone pair on nitrogen similarly a molecule of water is also considered a nucleophile due to the presence of lone pairs left that is the un bonded electron pairs on oxygen in fact all amines whether they are 1 degree 2 degree or 3 degree would always have to act as a nucleophile due to the presence of lone pairs on the nitrogen of the amines for example if you look at a primary amine you have an r nh2 nitrogen having atomic number of 7 has got 5 electrons in the outermost shell of which two are used with hydrogen one with alkyl group you are still left with a lone pair therefore a nucleophile similarly a 2 degree amine would have two r groups attached to nitrogen and an h again you have three bond pairs on nitrogen thereby leaving behind a lone pair therefore this also is a nucleophilic identity a 3 degree amine similarly is going to have three r groups attached to nitrogen leaving behind a pair of electrons making it a nucleophile coming to the electrophilic identities An electrophilic identity is electron loving we very well know electrons are negatively charged therefore an identity which is electron loving has to be positively charged under this category of electrophiles the first is positively charged ions which means all cations for example cations like nitronium ion ammonium ion will all fall under this category it could be a cl plus anything which a positive charge can be called as an electrophile under the second category of an electrophile we have electron deficient molecules if you remember the first element of group 2 and 13 that is beryllium and boron are not metallic in nature they have a tendency to form covalent bonds since they form covalent bonds they are electron deficient for example beryllium we have two electrons in the outermost shell and since it is very small in size it is not acting as a metal it forms covalent bonds thereby forming compounds like becl2 beh2 bef2 etc the three of them can be called as an electron loving because they are running short of electrons on the central atom the central atom being beryllium had two electrons of its own and two it gets via the covalent bonds therefore has got only four electrons making it electron deficient hence an electrophile also talking about boron compounds boron has got an atomic number of 5 the outermost shell has got three electrons 
it forms three bonds only with fluorine, hydrogen, chlorine, etc. In all these three compounds, you have boron achieving a sextet of electrons, that is six electrons in all, three of its own, three it gathers from the covalency, therefore it is running short by two electrons to complete the octet. Lastly, there is a compound called as anhydrous AlCl3, which is a covalent compound of aluminium. Aluminium being small, to lose three electrons to form ionic bond requires a large amount of ionization energy. This amount of ionization energy is compensated when we talk about AlCl3 in an aqueous medium. Whereas, when we talk about anhydrous AlCl3, there is no hydration energy to compensate for the ionization energies of aluminium, thereby making it a covalent compound. Hence, aluminium under anhydrous state will always form a covalent compound due to the presence of three valence electrons forming three covalent bonds, again ending up in a sextet of electrons that is only six electrons in its outermost shell, running short by two electrons, making it an electrophile. A few more examples are ferric chloride, ferric bromide are also under this category because they are also covalent compounds where iron is running short of electrons. It is an electron loving identity, hence an electrophile. So with this we come to the end of the concept of nucleophiles and electrophiles which are normally used in organic reactions, the mechanisms of organic reactions. Thank you.